Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 26 that is Selenium Grid in C -sharp .net. In this lecture you will learn how to set up the simple Selenium Grid using C -sharp .net. So in typical Selenium Grid what happens is that your Selenium code sends the commands to the remote control server it is also called as hub. There are some nodes registered with that hub. So each node is capable of running certain types of tests. For example this node is capable of running the Internet Explorer tests. This node is capable of running the Firefox tests and this node is capable of running the Safari tests. So each node has got some capabilities and each node is registered with the particular hub. So hub knows like if on uh, what node which capabilities are available. And whenever the it gets the request from the client code what happens is that it based upon the request uh, this hub decides which node should be selected based upon the desired capabilities and then the tests are executed on that particular node so to set up the selenium grid what you have to do is first of all start the hub or the remote server and then register the node to that particular hub so over here I have given these commands to start the server so this is the command that you need to execute java dash jar server dot jar dash rule hub so this server dot jar is nothing but the selenium dash server dot jar which is available on the selenimhq.org website you can download that and then you can start the server like that so you can notice that I have already started the server over here using that command and the server by default starts uh, running on this particular port 4444 on the local host so hub is started and next st step is to start the node and register to the node to that particular hub and for that we have got this command java jar web driver dot chrome dot driver is equal to here we need to specify the path where chrome driver dot exe file is available then selenium server dot jar so the same uh, jar file we have to use but remember that here, here you have to give the rule as node then you have to give the path of the hub to which you want to register and the port is nothing but the port on which the node is gonna listen so we have started the hub and node and next thing that you need to do, do is send the command to the hub and then hub will decide to which node the a command should be sent for the execution so to here is the simple example to start the uh, server remote server like remote web driver and for that we need to use this remote web driver class which is in this particular namespace open remote. so what happens is that uh, it takes two arguments first argument is the URL of the hub and the second argument is the desired capabilities it means what kind of uh, browsers we want what kind of platform we want so in short we have given here the desired capabilities dot chrome it means that I want to run the tests on chrome that's why I have given that desired capabilities <coughs> now next thing that you need to do is once the driver instance is available you can use the selenium API to do the operations like navigating to URL performing operation on the edit box drop down etc you can also take the screenshot like that and rest of the API is very uh, pretty much the uh, same as we have seen in earlier lectures once you register the node to the uh, hub you can look at the what all nodes have been registered using this particular url on the hub and after that you can start execution of this particular code and then what will happen is the commands will be sent to the server and then the server will talk to the node and execute those commands on the node as you can see it has started the execution on the node since the node is on this particular machine itself it will launch the browser on this machine but if you had registered this node on the or this node was uh, running on another laptop it would have started execution on that laptop and the test has uh, finished execution and you can also look at the output and it has printed the title so that is how you can set up the selenium grid in c sharp dot net that ends our lecture number 26 thanks for watching this video